How's it? Ain't loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii. Uh, channel. Channel. Um, yeah, hello, it's February 22nd. Is the, are they gonna land on the moon again? It's mission to the moon. Moon landing just moved up to four feet. Is that, uh, uh, this is not a person. I guess they're just gonna. I don't know. I guess someone's like. I don't. What? Mm, gosh. Just a second. Up until this point, it is the stuff of things that, you know, only countries have been able to do. And only a few countries the United States, the former Soviet Union, China, India, and just recently, Japan. And then the other big first came. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Everyone's going to land on the moon again. Yay! <laughs> so, okay, it's um, it's it's thir it's Thursday. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, mm, yay Thursday. Um, I'm still kind of a little kambooled and kambazzled because everything's like bleh, bleh, and um, I'm using. This is where my head's at. It's like editing and recording. This is the OBS and I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck too in my little rut. I'm using the old machine and the old it's OBS is low down the old machine too and the reason I'm doing that one is for comparison because I'm gonna be wearing this bathrobe forever and <laughs> and there's gonna uh, uh, the new machine was just a lot of um, just a lot of well I don't have it down yet like every time I gotta plug in the guy, uh, this, uh, these things, I gotta use these C plugs to get the A plugs plugged into the machine. So that keeps the one hurdle. The other one is <laughs> my, uh, favorite editing program. Well, I favor it. It's Final Cut Pro. Okay, so I've been doing everything in Final Cut Pro. Now, it's on the other machine, so I take it from here, the file, after done recording, and edit it on Final Cut Pro on the other machine. So I transfer the whole guts, the software, of the other machine onto the new machine, and there's no Final Cut Pro. I'm like, why? Where's my Final Cut Pro? And... Close it. Close it. I closed it, I opened it, I quit the program, everything. It's, it's not there. I'm like, oh... Oh no, I have to face Premiere Pro. <laughs> this is more difficult for me. So, uh, at the moment. And, and I found out what happened. On the new machine, I updated it to the new operating system. I know I'm boring you, sorry. <laughs> but some people are interested. The new operating system on Mac machines are, MacBook Pros, for example, are Sonoma. Because they named these operating systems after California counties? <laughs> Monterey, Catalina, Sonoma. To get over it, but Sonoma is the latest one. So I'm like, well, this is a new machine. It can handle it. It's got the fast M1 processor. So I put Sonoma, Sonoma on there. On. Yeah. yeah. Bring it Bring on. It on. Bacon, Bacon, lettuce, lettuce and, cheese. and cheese. And Sonoma's on there. But Sonoma is not that much damn some fancy stuff yeah. but it's too advanced for my old version of final cut pro so it tucked it away into the basement and it doesn't even show it it's there but it's <laughs> i'm sorry you must have the new version and final cut pro is an apple product so it's corporations again in the apple ecosystem oh you wanted the new machine? Now you gotta deal with the C plug. Now you gotta do it. And that is my little irrational rant. Thank you. You informed me as it is. <laughs> so, uh, that I'm, I'm feeling better as far as this other stuff. I, I had a horrible overdo it day yesterday. I went to had a speech early in the morning. I talked about ghosts theory in Toastmasters then I had to drive my mom to get like the blood test like they do for the routine stuff 
which is a whole thing because I had to pick up the, the roller thing and then uh, transport her and back. And then while we're out there, might as well do because she's got another follow up appointment on Saturday. So while we're out here, so we went and did the shopping thing. And I'm like, well, if we're going to do that one store, let's do the other store. So grocery shopping. By the time I got back and um, my little bag here had been, I don't know, it gets unplugged and I go crazy. And um, it, I was sore. Like, tube pulling sore. I don't know. No, that's my rant. Oh, oh okay, yeah. Rant done. Vlog to news, news. News is, um, holy, holy moly. Um, last night, somewhere on the earth, a satellite fell and smashed into the earth. I think it splashed into the earth because it landed somewhere in the Pacific, somewhere between Alaska and Hawaii. I was uncomfortable. It was like Chicken Little. The sky is falling. Well, the thought, and then I went to sleep. <laughs> My turbo. My tube hurts. <laughs> Robot. Uh, put me in my Darth Vader suit. I uh, put me in the hyper. Anyway. So somewhere between, uh, maybe they heard about the Alaska uh, Hawaiian Airline merger. I don't know. But somewhere between Alaska and Hawaii, a whole satellite from outer space fell into the ocean, smashed into a big splash. And it they don't have control of where those things come down. Okay? And it come, could come down anywhere. I mean, they I think they attempted to control its fall, but good luck. And there's thousands upon thousands. Tens of thousands, I mean, who knows, I, I, just lots of stuff up there orbiting the Earth. And it, they fall down and it's like, hey, what, add views, attic. Okay. Yeah, that's in the attic. It's his attic. <laughs> Toys in the attic. So, when these things come down, they predicted that one in 100 million is your, it's chance your chance of getting of hit, hit by hit one of these things. things. So don't so worry. worry. One in 100 million. million. But I think the odds to win the lottery are even bigger or less than that. So the people have won the lottery. So and, and, it doesn't matter. If the only thing that fell was a tiny little piece of junk, like a tiny little, like maybe cat ball. It's just this big. It's so small. Look, here's the cat ball. Oh, this thing's broken now. If only the cat ball fell, just this little thing, it's going at such a high velocity. Force, F equals MA. Remember physics. F force equals acceleration times, even if it's a little mass, it's going really, really fast. So something like this, hitting the ground from outer space, kind of like would destroy a truck. <laughs> oh, don't win the lottery. Anyways, that's the... Okay, just go on. See what's in Hawaiian news real quick. Oh! Oh, come on, OBS. Please work. It's working, yes? Yes, it's working. What the heck? It is... Um, I don't know. It is what it is. Booty gig. Booty gig. The R R our wonderfully openly gay uh, U.S. Transportation Secretary. So he's part of the Biden administration. I mean, this is like the federal uh, administration, uh, president administration. He's arrived, had arrived, and he's he checked out Lahaina, and he's going, hey, you all oh, the bells of St. Mary. And he was like, oh my God, that's totally terrible. <laughs> and it's, and written, what's it, Nancy, well, whoever this, uh, Hirono, did Hirono meet her? Hirono's big over here, so. So Hirono's like, yeah, man. Uh, I don't know, Senator Brian Schatz. I don't, I don't know, whatever. He got there and he's like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, we're committed. So, so Lahaina is uh, like, oh whoa, and and it's important because there's so much um, bovine diaper filler going on in Congress that and all that campaign whack job stuff. That, you know, we don't want to get overlooked with the wildfire stuff. It's a long-term thing. And, um, and whatever. <laughs> this is 
got to keep going on. And they're, they need, it's actually going to cost tons of freaking money. So, meanwhile, in sports, hey, I got the ball. It's basketball, growing with confidence. Yeah. But the head, take heart, the UH volleyball back. It's kind of more fun to watch volleyball than basketball. So, Rainbow Warriors volleyball, it's, they're going to play Missouri on Saturday. Oh, it's the coach. Hey, you guys better win. <laughs> no, they're doing really well. Uh, they're pretty exemplifying themselves with teamwork stuff. Oh, you know what? Just relax. Remember back in the day in 1989? <laughs> 1989? It sounds like 1800s. 1989, when you just want to relax, you go to the airport and greet... Um, oh my God, I don't know what that is. It's um, the Muppet Show. Is, is that Barney the Dinosaur? I don't know. Denise Manzar, senior program of Sesame Street greets Prairie Dawn and other characters at the Rifle Honolulu performance in Blaisdell Center. Oh, she's on the prairie. It's like Little House on the Prairie. It's like from the Muppets. It's like, oh, look, you, you rolled up. Did you wear your mask? No, it's not that era yet. Oh, look, you want that? It was a seat. It was a comfortable sitting in the plane there. Like, Sesame Street. Do, 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 do. I remember Sesame Street from its early, early days. Student law. Oh, Biden canceled a bunch of students. Well, Pretty much a lot of student loans, not the whole big shebang of all student loans. <laughs> so, hey, vote for me. That's how you get votes. <laughs> not selling golden tennis sneakers to pay for your legal bills. What the hell is the world coming to? What happened to everything? These guys are Vladimir Putin, third from the right, a couple of the right defense. Oh my god. Arrived in the strategic bomber. Oh, check out the bomber in the aviation factory in Russia. Oh, little nice bomber. Oh, looks like a little freaking jet airplane or a little beer jet bomber. Okay, Russia oh, might put nuclear weapons in space this year. Their nuclear space weapon, the Wipeout satellites, is um, not actually completely done built yet, but they want to use a nuclear boom boom to set the thing to motion to have it go. So they'll have a floating nuke. Device. That's not good. Oh, what do we got here? Okay, what we got here is the word of the day from Japan. That's what we got here. Come on. Okay. JK Go. JK Go. Word of the week. Oh. <laughs> JK Go is a teen slang. This is used by high school girls. Yay. JK stands for Josie Kosei. High school girls. Josie Kose, high school girls. So it's like JK Go, JK Go. And like, go girls. It's 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 girl power stuff. It's a they're teenage, teenage girl power from hot Japan. That's what we need. The girly photo. What the heck? What oh. Oh, and someone uh, uh, artist portrays everyday wonders. This is eternity in a moment. Features uh, rooms, various motifs. It's pictured as one uh, it's supposed to be average everyday wonders I, I don't see that every day okay I'm, I'm wondering and what the hell this guy's preparing to smoke some fentanyl in Portland Oregon and if you see me like that on the park bench it's because my pee tube fell out I mean it's oh, my, what the hell are you smoking fentanyl no my pee tube fell out excuse me officer I can't get it it's unsanit can't be sanit must be sanitary. All right, all right, enough of your self-pity. Okay, uh, a political cartoon. Uh, we're, we're claiming eight kids, three at home and five in the lab. Tax services, frozen embryos, our children. Yeah, the Alabama court, Supreme Court for the state, says that the uh, test tube babies or the you know embryos, frozen embryos, are, are actually children. And this guy walking around in the laboratory dropped a test tube broke open and they're gonna charge him with like murder you baby killer i dropped the test tube so it's it's gone to the well obviously that's um, they're preparing the way for the abortion issue Let's see that would make the abortion stuff illegal so the pro-lifers will have us alabama this just you know what i mean i swear oh, what's going on oh gosh Oh, what are we going to do? Speed humps. Uh, make up your mind. Credibility. Dead last. Okay, let's just do it. Come over here. Come over here. Now. Right. Yeah. 
you scare me. Let's let's get the right font. Yep. Oh. Here we go. This one. Trump finishes dead last in presidential survey. A recent study of U.S. presidents by the Presidential Greatness Project Expert Survey, an annual polling of 154 historians of all political views, revealed what most informed persons already believed. These notable historians, mm, notable historians concluded that President Joe Biden ranks 14th among the 45th, 45 U.S. presidents. Donald Trump was dead last. <laughs> to be sure, the survey detected that some political bias affected responses, but the overall conclusion is, was <laughs> balanced to reflect historical reality. Unfortunately, neither history nor facts will dissuade many MAGA and Trump disciples from following their flawed messiah to the bottom. But <laughs> let us hope a few will learn from history or at least from historians. Francis M. Nakamoto, Moana Lua, talking in play to voice, Francis. I don't know if you did talk in to the voice or not. I don't know. Okay. That's it. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, dead last. No, no joke. <laughs> He's the president. I'm better than Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, dead last. Will we learn from history? Only after the fact, unfortunately. Meanwhile, the sky is falling. and know it already fell. It fell last night. So, who knows? Well, whatever. It's <laughs> somewhere in the ocean this time. <laughs> uh, have a great Thursday. Uh, sorry if I was long. Uh, uh, time to edit now. Oh, no, how to use. What's wrong with this machine? I thought I was going to be better. It's kind of like the same old clunky slow movement. Oh, Allah. I love it to you. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now. I won't stop till I wear the...